Hello everyone, it's Mike from PHP Waterfall here. I'm just going to be showing you the try and catch method. So normally what you'd be doing is you'd be doing if something is equal to true, do this, else, do this. Now we're still going to be doing that, but we're going to be encasing it in try and catch blocks. So for example, all you do is you type try curly brackets and then after that we're going to put catch parentheses and yet again curly brackets so this is the code we're going to try we're going to try this so for example let me just define a string up here we'll say string is equal to hello so what we're going to say if str is the same as hello we're going to echo echo yes else now normally what you do is you'd echo no but we're not going to do that we're going to throw an exception so we're going to type throw new and we're going to type ec exception and then you put pepper emphases I need to type what you want in there, so we'll just for that, for example, we'll just type a no, it does not. So now we've got that. So we're going to have to catch this throw an exception. So what we'll do is we'll go catch and then we'll type exception. Now I'm just going to use x. Now you can use almost any variable you want here. You could say e, x, c, whatever. I'm just going to use x. So now we're going to have to do something with that for an exception. So we're just going to go echo. Now this is where we're going to use uh, the x variable I've just defined. Now you'd use whatever you uh, defined. You'd put dash, right angled arrow. Now we're going to type get, and then message, parentheses, and uh, a semicolon. Now if I just save that, and view that in a browser you'll see equals yes because what has happened there is this bit of the code is true so it carries on so if I was just to change that to hellos save that and now if we have a look no it does not now as you can see we here we haven't echoed this out we've thrown a new exception this catch has caught that exception and we're using x to uh, catch this exceptions message here we're going through X and getting the get message and that's the message now it might seem a bit more work than normal than just doing if else I like this method a lot more I think it's a lot neater and I, d I just like it more you know you're just going to try this bit of code and if something you don't like happens you can throw an exception catch it and display that exception now you can, all, you can still do stuff in here like if you want to surround it in a div you could have just go like echo div echo you know what I mean so you could still do whatever you want down here and then you could also put another if statement here saying if it does equal hello we'll do this one if do this else and what you do is you'd throw another exception so if this one isn't true we'd throw this exception and then if it is true we'll go to this if statement if that's true we'd throw another exception and this would catch whatever message is thrown so I hope that kind of clears up the try and catch for you. If you've got any messages, just comment below or go and check out php.net and just read up on it. Thanks for watching.